Today is Indigenous Peoples Day, and for the first time, it's being celebrated as an official holiday in Minnesota. Just a couple hours ago, an annual celebration took place on Harriet Island. Senator Tina Smith joined the group as tribes held a land acknowledgement and honor song. Later this afternoon, she'll join the Indian Health Board at their ground blessing for a new wellness campus. And today, leaders with the Dakota and Anishinaabe tribes held a water ceremony. They joined local historians and city leaders in Golden Valley near a creek. The goal of the event is to recognize indigenous homelands and to emphasize that indigenous people make up an important part of our community. Right now, there's a need for coats and winter gear at a Minneapolis organization helping people get outfitted in clothes that reflect their gender identity. That organization is called Rainbow Wardrobe, a year-round clothing swap in the Twin Cities Pride headquarters in Minneapolis. Organizers say when people hear the term gender affirming, they think about medical care, but clothes play a pivotal, pivotal part of that journey too. Pride is using the rainbow wardrobe to make sure cost doesn't get in the way of people feeling like their authentic selves. Because it really is something that not only affects your mental health, but your physical health. So being able to provide those resources to those who can't afford it and still help them get that gender affirming clothing is something that we really believe in. The rainbow wardrobe will pull together different looks in a private appointment so shoppers can feel comfortable. To learn how to help or how to make an appointment, head to care11.com sunrise. Take a look at this map now. It shows us where we're seeing the very best fall colors. The darkest red, you can see it up there way in the northern part of the state. That means most of those leaves are already past their peak colors. But the next shade of red are where things are really vibrant right now. And you can see Twin Cities area still needs a little more time. But if you did have the opportunity to head up north these mm -hmm. next few days, just yeah. perfect. So uh, Jason um, went up to the North Shore mm -hmm. and actually said the North Shore was mainly green. Whoa. Yes. Now, so the Iron Range is more like the color vibrant. So I think we probably have another seven, eight days. So this weekend might be good to get up there. Hmm. But Hopefully the weather will cooperate. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a bad. Yes, it might not. It might be a rainy weekend here, but it, I feel like it always rains up in Duluth. Lived there my whole life. Well, a couple of years at least. All right, so it's 51 degrees outside. It, it was a chilly start. In fact, this was the coolest morning that we had since May 3rd. So it's been a very long time since we've dealt with temperatures like this. Fall is a funny time. Chilly and then bang, the pop, uh, temperatures just pop. And now we're already in the 50s. So we can enjoy this really nice day. The one thing about today is the winds. The winds are going to be out there a little bit and you're going to feel them. So jackets on, probably fine. I am a weird man. I love the cold air. So for me, I, I, I'll, probably, I'll put a coat on at like 20, but 51 to me feels warm. 51, you got the 40s up there. This is some cloud cover. How about this? 39 in Grand Marais. It's just a different world. So if you're heading up to the North Shore, checking out the colors, Big time jacket, especially this weekend. It's not going to be warm for at least 10 days. Getting down to the south, we're starting to see low 50s. I think we'll see 60 maybe in a couple spots. The other thing is we do have the wind and it is out of the north, so it's pulling in that cooler air right now. But it is a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind, so the breeze holding that feels like temperature down just a little bit. So the 50 doesn't feel hot. Sometime when, when it's this dry in the fall, that 60 degree day when it's calm can just feel warm. It's odd, right? Today is not that day. So 54, breezy conditions, mostly sunny skies unless you get up to Grand Marais. Only 40 today in Grand Marais. The trough is right on us. That's why it's so much colder. Just off to the north, further south you go, we get closer to that 60 degree mark. I want to talk a little bit about what we were just talking about. Is this going to be a washout weekend? It's possible. I'm, I would. Right now, I have plans, right? I want to go camping this weekend. So I don't want it to happen, but I, I'm starting to have a plan B. That's how I'm playing this. Big low is going to be sitting there Thursday. So I think all the way to Thursday morning, we're dry, straight up dry. Then the low has to make a decision, right? Is it going to come straight north? I bet you it comes kind of in between. This would give us widespread rain through the day on Friday. And then models really differ on how fast this is going to be. But what I know right now, the best chance for widespread rain Thursday night through the day on Friday, and we could be actually talking about a couple inches. Now, once we get through this cold period, chilly period, we're going to warm back up. Going into the next two weeks, temperatures are supposed to rise again, and we could be talking about 60s and mid 60s again, even on the second half of October. So there's going to be some good times here, especially as the leaves start to change colors. I think we'll warm back up. In the meantime, let's enjoy the 
comfortably cool temperatures. We're in the 50s, 54 today, 56 tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, first game back, uh, back at home against Houston. Perfect weather. Wednesday for the second game, again, great weather. And then there comes that system in Thursday, Friday, Saturday as we have a cool down into the weekend.